So it doesn't tell us what the x or the y represents. Uh, and that's okay. It's not like we really need that information. But we will have to give ourselves a scale on the x and y axis. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's the x scale. What about the y scale? Our biggest number is 51. So it's got to go at least that high. So I'm just going to use the scale going up every three lines. Again, that I assume they're going to give you the scale on the... No, they don't give you a graph on that. So you'll just have to make your own. Kind of like we've done here. So that's okay. I make smaller points on this one. So at 124, eh, maybe about right there. Missed that line. 228. Mm, close enough. 332. 441. 542. And 651. I think I got that. Well, the next thing we need here is a line. So, let's see how this goes. I don't know, I mean, nope, that's the wrong one. Maybe you could make it steeper like that. Something like that. Well, now we need the slope of this line. So let's identify two points on the line. Again, we're ignoring these red points now, even though they're pretty close. I mean, we could say maybe that that's 230. And, uh, what the heck, 440. So my slope, uh, that would be an increase in 10. And that'd be an increase of 2. So my slope is 5. So I can use point slope form. Y equals my slope, 5. And I got X minus, which of the two points do you guys want to use? 2 and 30. 2, 30. So my X is 2. And my Y is a positive 30. And distributing the 5, we got Y equals 5X minus 10 plus 30 so y equals 5x eh, plus 20 I mean you could have I guess going back on that once we found the slope you could have looked at that line crossing the x I'm sorry the y-axis and that is about at 20 right there maybe you say 21 or something like that but that's good enough since this is a scatter plot and a line of best fit I mean, we, we haven't learned any of the equations to find them exactly the, for the line of best fit specifically. So these are all together estimations anyways. But now that we have that line, we could make predictions if we were to know what the X and Y represented.